It's no great secret why AMD brought us down to their suite at CES 2017. They want to show off their Vega GPU, their Ryzen CPU. Those are like the sexy things that everybody wants to talk about. But of course, a CPU is nothing without the underlying platform. And that's what this video is about. The top five things about AMD's AM4 socket and the surrounding ecosystem. So number one is full support for enthusiast technologies. So I'm talking about overclocking, crossfire, and SLI. Yes, my friends, AMD got SLI certified on their X370 chipset. Number two is variety, choice. So for the first time in a while, AMD is launching a new chip, a new socket with support from the motherboard manufacturers with an entire range of products, all the way from basic all the way up to premium products with reinforced memory slots, PCI Express slots, M.2 connectors, uh, great I.O. on the back, all of that good stuff. Number three is overclocking. All Ryzen CPUs are going to support overclocking and it's gonna come down to the motherboard chipset, so the X370 and the next one down as to whether or not you are able to tune the frequency of your chip. Number four, native NVMe. So the chip gets 24 PCI Express lanes, 16 dedicated to graphics, another four for NVMe or SATA, and another four to communicate with the chipset. So that's a nice low latency connection to PCI Express drives. Number five, USB 3 support is here in spades. You get up to 10 USB 3.1 Gen 1, which is formerly known as 3.0, so USB 3 5 gigabit and two USB 3 10 gigabits, so that's 3.1 Gen 2, right off of the chipset itself. Number six, longevity. So AMD has committed that this socket will be around until 2020, but of course that doesn't mean anything if they change electrical requirements so new CPUs don't actually fit in them. They're saying, no, 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 we're not replacing this until DDR5 PCIe Gen 4 and not only will you be able to put new CPUs in a board that you buy today with a BIOS update, you can even throw an APU in there. You might have noticed, even though Ryzen is a CPU with no onboard graphics, Raven Ridge, which is Zen plus Vega, is coming later this year and will enable those graphics outputs that are on a lot of these motherboards. Number seven. What was number seven? So there you have it, guys. The top five exciting things about AMD's new platform on the AM4 socket for their Ryzen CPUs. Five. Yes, my friends, five. So thank you for watching. A huge shout out to AMD for allowing us to be here at CES 2017. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our other IMO fantastic videos here at the show. And I'll see you again at the next booth.